Uh, by the way, if, you've, if the name Dan Sullivan sounds familiar, he wrote the book, Who Not How. He's one of the greats in the, in the, in the mindset, uh, mindset space. One of a great coach. He has a business called a strategic coach. So I'm TikToking. AI's coming out. I'm trying to learn AI as fast as possible. And this guy over there who's sitting by the door, Mohammed Osmal, has the best TikToks about training how to use AI. So I'm learning from him, building curriculum for you in January. And we connected. I think I got him a little earlier, but we've been, we've been interacting. And I, I, I interact with him. He's in South Africa. I said, how would you like to come to Miami? and share your ideas with my audience. And he agreed, we flew him out, and here he is. He's gonna talk to you about how to, give him a big round of applause. He's gonna talk to you about how to create 180 some odd pieces of content oh, really? a month and be in the top 1% of all creators on earth. Did she close that one? Hey, thanks, thanks, thanks. 89? Close, done, paid. So firstly, has anybody been to South Africa? Oh, that's great. And from all of those that haven't been, do you guys know where is South Africa? In Africa, okay. That's South Africa. So AI has allowed me to come all the way from South Africa, where you can see that it's almost halfway around the world, to Miami, where I am now. And what I'm going to be sharing with you guys today is the AI advantage of how we can multiply your monthly content effortlessly. So I call it the content conveyor belt. And I'm going to show you how to create 180 pieces of content per month. But before we do that, I just want to give you a little story about myself. So AI has literally changed my life. At the end of 2022, when ChatGPT came out, I tried it and I fell in love with it. I was amazed at how powerful this tool actually was. And I wanted to tell the whole of South Africa how powerful it was. So I decided to make videos explainer videos on ChatGPT and AI in general. And this was supposed to be for South Africa only. But little did I know that the whole world would start seeing, seeing my videos. And companies and individuals started reaching out to me for AI coaching and consulting. And I now get to work with businesses and individuals from all over the world. And I'm actually here because of those videos. So I get to address CEOs, I get to address marketing teams. I actually had a billionaire ask me for advice on AI. Now I don't want you to picture this. Imagine if you are on a call, on a Zoom call, with an international client that's, say, an important international client. Yeah. And while you're on this call, your power goes off. So everything goes blank. Now, I'm actually, this is my reality. I live in South Africa. So in South Africa, we have something that is called load shedding. So what is load shedding? Load shedding is actually rolling blackouts. So what that means is for a few hours every day, we do not have power. So we don't have electricity. And I'm actually saying a few hours, but before I left, it was actually six hours per day. So that means we've got no power. Uh, right, and with that, now with my business, I need the internet. Now I've got no internet, or the internet is terrible as well because the backup batteries for the towers, they get stolen as well. Now the reason I'm telling you all this is because if I could grow my business, I could grow my following in those circumstances, then you guys have no excuses. 
you should be growing your businesses because you have excellent circumstances and you actually have an unfair advantage because you guys get all the AI tools before us as well. I'm in Africa, I get it last. Now you guys have that advantage. So that's why I want you to take this opportunity and grab it. Because ChatGPT is only eight months old. So it's not too late. You can actually leverage AI to change your life as well. And I have run a digital marketing agency since 2013. And I can honestly say that had I had all these AI tools that are available today, available to me back in 2013, I would have grown my business 10 times faster. And the main thing, I don't know who said this, but someone much smarter than me said that imperfect action is always better than perfect inaction. So that's what I want you guys to take away from this. I want you to take action. I'm going to show you something, but you still need to take the action. Whatever you learned in these two days as well, you still need to take action. So I want you to take the action and grab the opportunity to change your lives as well. Now when we use one AI tool, that's powerful. But when we can combine multiple AI tools together, that is when we can truly understand the power of AI. And what I'm going to show you is we are going to firstly create a blog post. And we're going to create this blog post from a YouTube video. Don't worry, you don't have to create your own YouTube video. You can use any video, any YouTube video from your industry. And then we are going to repurpose this into five Facebook posts, five Instagram posts, five LinkedIn posts, five Twitter posts, five Google business profile posts, and five threads. And then we're going to further repurpose this into two Instagram Reels, two Pinterest videos, two TikToks, two YouTube Shorts, and two LinkedIn videos. And then we're going to further repurpose this into one LinkedIn carousel post, one Instagram carousel post, and then we're going to further repurpose it into a LinkedIn article, which will also go out as a LinkedIn newsletter, and also to an email that you can send out to your email list. So all this comes to 45 pieces of content per week. Now, if we do this four times a month, that will give us 180 pieces of content per month. Now, this will actually put us in the top 1% of business owners who actually create content. So, when we create content, remember, previously, we, had, we could create content for a website alone, and that was enough. Or we could create content on social media, and that was enough. But now, because the internet has become so saturated, we have to actually create a kind of online omnipresence. So we need to be seen everywhere. So that's why this whole strategy is meant to do that, to make us seen everywhere. And this strategy also, it's, it's meant to complement your ads. So it's actually going to make your ads work even better. Because remember, when someone sees an ad, they don't, they're not necessarily going to immediately buy. If they are on the fence, what are they going to do? They're going to go and click on your profile, and they're going to do some research on you. So if they go to your profile, and they click on your bio, and then they go to your website, and they see, oh, you've got a, a blog post. So automatically, they think that you are knowledgeable in, in your industry. That's why you can create a blog post. Then they go to your social media, and they see that you're posting regularly. So again, subconsciously, this is building trust with them. So it's telling them that you are an authority in the industry. And then eventually what it's going to do, it's going to get them to know you, like you, and 
trust you. Because once they know you, like you, and trust you, then they are going to buy your services, repeat buy your services, and refer you to others as well. And that's what we all want. Whatever marketing strategy it is, the ultimate goal is to get someone to know you, like you, and trust you. Now this, I actually called it the content conveyor belt. It's going to start off from a YouTube video. Then we're going to go to ZimWriter, which is the tool I'm going to use to create the blog post. And from there, ZimWriter is actually going to give us a mid-journey prompt that we can use for this blog post. And we're going to use the same mid-journey prompts for the social media posts as well. And then from there, we're going to go to ChatGPT, and we're going to repurpose this blog post into videos and images as well. And the tool we're going to use for videos is InVideo, and Descript is what we're going to use for the voiceover. I will let you hear it shortly. And then from there, we are going to use a social media management tool. Because we don't want to go every day and publish content every day. So with Publer, this will allow us to create it once and schedule all these posts to go out throughout the month. And then we are going to send it out. We can use something like MailerLite, which is free. And this eventually is going to put us into the top 1% of business owners who are creating content. Now, firstly, ZimWriter, the first tool that I mentioned. I have been in SEO since 2013. And I can honestly say that this is the best AI writing tool that is available at the moment. Your other competitors, besides being worse, they are actually more expensive. With ZimWriter, you can get whatever I'm talking about, you can get it done for $10 per month. Now, Matt Zimmerman, who is the founder of ZimWriter, has been in SEO for years. So it has been built and focused around SEO. So this is ZimWriter. So in ZimWriter, we're going to need a scrape owl, an OpenAI API key. This we can get from OpenAI, which is the owners of ChatGPT. And then we're going to need a scrape owl. API key. So what the scrape owl, scrape owl API key is, this is what is going to allow us to scrape the YouTube video that we are going to create our blog post on. So in this example, I use this Apple WWDC event, which happened in June 2013, uh, 2023, sorry. And as you can see, this video, the length was two hours and six minutes long. You don't have to choose such a long video. Anything over 10 minutes will work. Now, what we need from this video is the URL. So once we get our URL, you can just copy that. And then this is part of ZimWriter. The option that we are going to use is called Penny Arcade. So we're going to use the Penny Arcade option. And this now will open up this new window in ZimWriter. And remember, ZimWriter is different to all the other options out there because this does not run in your browser. This runs on your machine. That's why it is cheaper than all the other alternatives. But it is also more powerful. So the first thing, we're going to paste in our YouTube URL. And with ZimWriter, you can actually create up to 1,000 blog posts with one click. So if you input 1,000 YouTube URLs, you'll get out 1,000 blog posts with one click. Then there are other settings as well. So the first setting is the H2s. Now, I don't know if anyone's doing SEO, you understand what's an H2. But for those that don't, an H2 basically is the type of heading. So the most important heading is an H1. So we tell the search engine that this is the most valuable or important content of this article. So that will be an H1. Then the second most important will be an H2. And we can have multiple H2s within our article. So that is H2s. 
then we can even write in what voice we want to write in. So for this example, I just use a second person, we can do it in first person, etc. And here, the one option that I, I tick for to get this to work is I want to, I want to enable mid-journey prompts for each H2. So if I've got five H2s throughout the blog post, this is going to generate five mid-journey prompts that I can use for images. So it will come with one mid-journey prompt by default, but if I tick this, now I'm going to get six altogether, which one will be the featured uh, blog post and for all other H2s. But the most important option that we need to have ticked is we need to enable YouTube videos. So this is going to allow ZimWriter to scrape the YouTube URL. And this is the output that we get from ZimWriter. So the first thing you'll see, it states that YouTube URL that it scraped. Then it'll tell us which model it used. So we can use GPT 3.5, GPT uh, 4, or DaVinci. Now GPT 4 will be the most expensive, but you'll see now it is actually not that expensive because for a 1,587 word article, it'll only cost us one dollar, just over a dollar. If we use GPT 3.5, it'll actually cost us under 10 cents. So that is up to us. But remember, GPT 4 will be better quality than GPT 3.5 because it's an advanced model. And then it'll give us a meta description. Now we know for SEO as well, Meta descriptions are good because it'll actually tell the search engine what this article is actually about. It'll give us an, a title, which will be at H1, and as I mentioned earlier, H1 is, that's just a hierarchy of the importance of the article. And this is the prompt that I use, I put into Midjourney, and this is the result that it gave me. So it gave me four results. I can choose one, and I'll use that for my blog post. Then, now that I have my blog post, it'll be up on the website. Then I go to ChatGPT. Now, in ChatGPT, I'll give it this prompt. You are a social media expert. You specialize in creating viral captions. I'm going to give you an article I want you to create five LinkedIn social media captions that are lengthy and SEO focused. Make four of them value-based and one with a call to action to read the article. That post should also include my business info. And then I gave it my business info. I, I just, for this example, I just used business name, test tech company, website, testtechcompany.com. And then I stated, include viral hashtags and emojis. And I said, here is the article. And then I paste the article that ZimWriter gave me. And this was the results. So as you can see, it gave me five results. The first four were just value-based. And the fifth one had a call to action. And then from there, after that, the same thread in ChatGPT I asked it now to give me five Facebook posts as well. And then it'll do the same thing, and now I've got five Facebook posts. I'll do the same thing for Instagram as well. So all this is all within one thread. And as you can see, it has given me five, five Instagram posts, four value-based, and one with a call to action. And then I'll do the same thing for Google Business Profile. I'll do the same thing for Twitter. I'll do the same thing for threads and it'll give me five results for each of them. And this is the result of the prompt that I put into Midjourney, and I can use this for my social media posts. So now this has covered our image posts. But remember, we're gonna create image posts, we're gonna create video posts, and we're also gonna create text-based posts in the form of email and the LinkedIn article as well. So then we go back to ChatGPT. And now, in ChatGPT, I ask it to create two by 30 second video scripts with voiceovers for five scenes each from this article. Give me only the text, do not include B-roll or timeline. And now what I'm gonna do with the output that it gives me, I'm actually, see this is the output that it gave me, you can see five scenes, 
with the voice over. And it says video script one, so it gave me two outputs. And then I'll take this and I'll go to in video, which is the tool that we're going to use to generate the videos. So as you can see, this is going to convert text to video with AI. So all we need to do is just give it our voiceover and the whole text of our video, the script, and it'll generate a video for us. All right, so this is in in video. I pasted it, the whole video script, and all I need to do then is create, uh, click on create scene. And here, I'll actually play this video that it created. All I did was I went to Descript and I created a voiceover. But you can create a voiceover. There's no sound. OK, but what it will do, it will actually create a voiceover, and it will be a voiceover of my own voice, which I created in script and this is the video which was all done by AI the only thing I changed was I changed out the images and this will take you less than five minutes to change out the images you can use the ones that come by default but it'll actually be better if you change them out okay then we go back to chat GPT and remember, as I told you earlier, all this is within one thread of ChatGPT. Then the next step is I'm asking it to create a carousel post for LinkedIn from this article. Now, are you guys familiar with what a carousel post is? OK, some of you guys. OK. So basically, I'll show it to you just now. So now ChatGPT is going to give me the slides that I can use in the carousel post. Now, for this as well, once I have this text, I can now go to something like Canva, and I can just search for LinkedIn carousel templates. So that is what a carousel post looks like. So the ones that flip over, if you see them on uh, LinkedIn, that's what a carousel post is. So then I'm going to go to Canva. I'm going to choose one of the templates. I'm going to paste in the output that ChatGPT gave me. And now I have a LinkedIn carousel post. Then I'm going to do the same thing for Instagram, because carousel posts work well on Instagram and on LinkedIn as well. So I'll ask it to create me a carousel post for Instagram. And remember, when I am specifying that I want it for a different platform, ChatGPT is going to give me an answer according to the platform I asked it. I can be generic, and I can just say, give me a social media carousel. Now, it wouldn't know what platform it is. So it's going to give me something generic. But if I am specific, and I say that I want it specifically for Instagram, it's going to understand what type of carousel post Instagram has, and it will create it accordingly. And then once I have the carousel post as well from ChatGPT, here again, I can go to Canva. I can just search for carousel Instagram post templates. I can paste in my, uh, the content that came from ChatGPT and it will give me the carousel post that I can now use on Instagram. And here is the same thing. I, that's my carousel post. Now the next step is I want to ask it, you are now an email marketing expert. Create an email that will encourage users to read the article. So all this now, remember, is based on that one article. So from that one article, we pulled out all this content. And then once I have my email, this is the email that it gave me. As you can see, it gave me a subject, dear recipient's name, and a whole email. And then I can go to something like MailerLite, and I can send this out to my email newsletter. Now, does anyone post on LinkedIn? Are you guys posting LinkedIn articles? You post LinkedIn articles are using the newsletter feature in LinkedIn. OK, so what a newsletter actually is on LinkedIn, it's if you're not using it, you're leaving money on the table. Because as you can see here, it's just your article, and it's a feature of LinkedIn, 
So this is a client of mine. So we created a LinkedIn newsletter. And as you can see, he only has nine editions. If you see there, it's only nine editions. But we managed to get him 2,142 subscribers. Now, these subscribers are on LinkedIn. So now all he has to do, once he has the subscribers, because they, they actually opted in on LinkedIn, and LinkedIn will do, th will do this automatically, automatically for you. So now all he has to do is, is he just texts them back, I hope you enjoy my content. Let me know how I can help. So now it immediately starts a conversation. And this is starting a conversation from someone who has subscribed to you. So it's not a cold lead. They are aware of you. So the likelihood of them actually becoming a client is higher because they are now aware of you. And now the last step is we go to Publa, and here I mentioned we can now schedule all the posts that we created and let it go out. We can set it once and it will go out throughout the month. Now you can actually do this yourself or you can even actually hire a VA that can do this for you. Does anyone have a VA? Virtual assistant. Okay, so this is something you can easily give your VA, and this will allow you to create 180 pieces of content per month. And this is how the results of the content conveyor belt. Now, do you guys have any questions? Yes. So. Hello. Hi. I wonder what videos have given you more results. If the ones that you created, like with your head, your talking head, um, or for, the or for, me like for you, and for your clients, you can give me your marketer. So, what? type of content has given you more results, traction, engagement? Is it the generic videos that are generated by here or the videos that have you talking head? The videos with the talking head will always outperform these. But you want to mix it up because sometimes what happens is you forget, you run out of ideas. Now you don't know what to create. What ends up happening, you'll stop creating completely. Got so it. this is just to help you to keep that machine running. So when you want Got to take your, create your talking head, you create it as normal and you put it into your schedule. That's, that's beautiful. Thank you for that. Here's another. Hello. All right. Um, phenomenal presentation, by the way. Uh, Thanks, this has, been, this has been wonderful, seriously. Um, <clears throat> do you have any recommendations for that initial YouTube video that you're referring to? or research to get the most uh, productive information for our niche and our markets? So you can use a tool like uh, TubeBuddy. That's one tool. Uh, VidIQ, that's another one. TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy. So T-U-B-E-B-U-D-D-Y. And the other one is VidIQ. IQ. Yeah. So this will give you YouTube video results. Thank you. Okay. Is it me? This. Ready for me? Oh. Joe? Hey, amazing presentation. Um, Thanks. So you mentioned you have clients all over the world. Do you have capacity to handle new clients? Yeah. Okay, and how would you be going about that? Do we approach you later uh, on, or? <laughs> oh, you want? Okay, we can talk about that afterwards. Okay, great. Okay, that's it. Does Muhammad does Publer have allow you to add music for the post or? So the music will be part of your video. That won't be within Publer. Okay, so you know how when you go to post on Instagram or TikTok and you add music from their platforms? No, so what this will allow you to do is to pre-record it, not on TikTok or not on Instagram. Okay. So you won't have all those options. 
Gotcha, gotcha. So you can record it. Like I personally, all my videos are recorded on Descript. Nothing is recorded on the platform. And then I republish it all over the other platforms as well. We're going to have Muhammad teach in our mastermind as well.